Anna here. Welcome to my channel all about finding joy while living with autoimmune disease. I am so glad to have you here. So today I'm talking about AIP travel, air travel, in a hotel, no kitchen. So I'm going on a trip um, for six days, five nights, and so I just thought I'd show you what I'm packing and how I'm handling it. Um, there are some restaurants where I'm going that will have AIP options if I need them, but I prefer, because of the kind of schedule I have on this trip, I prefer to just bring my own food and not have to worry about cross-contamination or any of those issues. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so for breakfasts, it's summertime, it's hot, I'm really enjoying green smoothies right now, and so I thought that's something easy I can do in the hotel room. So my mother-in-law, um, I, I remembered that she's traveled with a Nutribullet before, and I don't have a Nutribullet. Um, I did not have one. I have um, a bigger Blendtec blender, which is, I love it. I've used it for years. It's great for like smoothies for our family. So I did get a Nutribullet on Amazon. It was like, I got it on Amazon Prime um, and it was a pretty good deal. So I got their bottom of the line one for like $49 um, because I did want to make that investment for when I travel. Um, so I have my Nutribullet. I'm just going to pack it in my suitcase. And then it comes with a cup and you just put all the ingredients in the cup and I, I tried it out yesterday that's how, that's how I know so this comes off and then you put all the ingredients in my husband put that on I think so you put all the in um, ingredients in and then you just put this on and blend it you probably already know that but I didn't so that's how you do it and then I made smoothie packets so um, these are my favorite smoothie ingredients. There's frozen banana, a little bit of frozen pineapple, greens, and then I use, I, I actually put half of, half of an avocado in my morning um, smoothie too to get me that healthy source of fat so I feel satiated. Healthy, eating healthy fats is so important. I could go on a tangent all about that, but I won't. So I've got five of these smoothie packets. There's two more. Um, I just, because I'm traveling, I just put them in Ziplocs. Um, and froze them ahead of time. So those are my breakfasts. Um, and I add collagen peptides to them too, which I have out, which I'll show you in a minute. So those are my breakfasts. For lunches and dinners, um, my goal was to, as I cooked for the past few weeks, just to take like an extra portion of my meals and just put like portion out and throw it in the freezer. Um, I, I was traveling last week. It's been a crazy month with our you know, kids' activities and summer camps and stuff, and so I didn't do as many as I'd like to do, um, but I do have some. So this, so I have like three of these. This is bison shepherd's pie. Um, I actually have two of those. That's a great recipe that we always have leftovers with. And then this is the hamburger stew recipe from, oh, so, so the bison shepherd's pie is from the Nutrient Dense um, Kitchen. It's one of the recipes I mentioned on my cookbook video. AIP cookbook video. Um, and then this I tried since I did that video. It is the hamburger stew, I think it's what it is what it's called out of the healing kitchen. Um, mine looks a little funny because you're supposed to peel the zucchini before you blend it to make the sauce. And I didn't want to. I am all about saving time in the kitchen and I'm like, I'm like peel that zucchini, like it's got nutrients in it, just blend it up. Well, uh, that's awesome and all, but it turned the uh, sauce green, which is kind of funny, but it tastes awesome. I love that recipe and there was a lot of leftovers. So I got three of those um, and then I realized that I was not going to have enough leftover meals in my freezer and I didn't want to have to do a bunch of batch cooking before I left. I'm trying to pack up and so I took a shortcut and I ordered Paleo on the go. Um, it's an AIP meal, um, meal delivery service and they have AIP frozen meals. You can order them delivered to your door and I think it's a bit pricey, and so I try not to order too often, but it's great for traveling. You can have, you can even order them and have them shipped to your hotel or to your condo, wherever you're staying. I just had them shipped to my house because um, I, I didn't need that many. So I ordered their, this is their bacon apple chicken burger with maple cranberry sauce. It's really good, I've had that. And then this one I haven't had, I thought I'd try it. It's our savory hash breakfast bowl. Um, and I won't eat it for breakfast, I'll eat it for like lunch or something. And then this one I had, it's like one of my favorites of theirs. It's a spinach and beef, spinach and mushroom beef lasagna. And I also have their beef breakfast empanada, which is awesome. I, I won't eat it for breakfast, probably I'll, I'll eat it like with like a side of greens. And then their 
Mojo, I don't know if that's how you say it, M-O-J-O, um, chicken empanada. This is, I, I love that too. I've had both of those, I love those. So that's what I'm doing for my lunches and dinners. And then I'm gonna try to throw some greens, some like salad stuff. If I have room in my cooler, I'm not sure I'm going to. Let's go ahead and see actually. I actually try to figure out what to do about a cooler because um, I'm, like if I'm, if it's like a road trip, it's easy. I have this like big cooler I love to take. It, it keeps things really cold, it's awesome. But this is my first time doing this. Um, air travel wise and so I was really like trying to figure out what to do. I looked on Amazon There's a lot of different options for like backpack type um, Coolers that'd be great to take on a plane. Some of them get really pricey So the best ones I found were up at like $150-$200 and I'm like No, so I I found one for 40 and I'm really happy with it. So I got on Amazon Prime and I don't even know what brand it is Torrid so I'll, I'll put a link if you're interested, but it's a backpack so I can take it um, through on my plane with me. This is what it looks like. And then it's got like a front pouch. I can put like a book in for on the plane, my wallet, things like this. And that's not, that's not insulated the way that the main part is. A spot for your water, water. And then if you like to drink, I, I don't drink, but, and probably if you're watching this, you don't, if you're on the AIP, but if you have a travel buddy who does and you're like camping or something, it's got like a bottle opener. So, all right, so I, I'm not gonna put ice in this because um, all of this stuff's like frozen. So it's gonna, it's gonna stay cold. And then I called ahead to my hotel, mini fridges and um, microwaves. So I was gonna, I wasn't sure how to heat the food, but then I figured it out. So. When I booked it, I saw that you can ask for a microwave and a mini fridge, um, and it said that they were gonna charge me for it, but I called them and I told, I explained to them how I have like um, an autoimmune condition, I have food allergies. I'm just gonna rearrange this all while, while we're chatting. Um, and so they, they actually said that they're gonna put the fridge and the microwave in the room, no charge, because it's health related. So um, be sure if you ask for that, that you um, tell them it's health related because you might you might get the fee waived if there's a fee. Some hotels just have them in there and it's, it's not a fee. Um, so as far as heating up food, um, I, I don't know who I heard it from, but there's these Hot Logic. There's um, other types too, but there's Hot Logic ovens, portable ovens. Pretty awesome. And this is the mini. I just got it on Amazon. I, I wanna say it was like 20 or 25. And again, like these are, the I consider all these things like investments in my health and, and I save money not eating out and I'm gonna use them again and again and again. And so even though by the time I bought the Nutribullet and the backpack and this, I was like at $100. I really see it as I'm saving money from eating out. I'm feeling better because I know I'm getting nutrient dense organic quality food and I don't and I'm saving time and energy because I don't have to try to find restaurants um, but anyway back to the point um, hot logic mini oven I have not tried this yet as you can see the tag still on it so I have instructions when I get there I wanted to try it out before I left but I just didn't have time it's been kind of a busy week but um, there's like a little quick start in there and then this is like it looks like a hot plate so this comes in like a bigger size too so if you needed a bigger size it does come in a bigger size so that's how i'm going to heat up my food so you just plug it in from what i can see there's a plug you just plug it in and it, it does take like a couple hours so what i'm planning on doing is when i leave after breakfast i'm going to plug it in and put my food in it that i'm eating for lunch to warm up eat my lunch food and then um, heat up my dinner. And so you can also take this like in the car, like one of my Instagram friends who's on AIP, Paleo, she she had a picture like she took it in the car. I'm like, that's awesome. Um, she has like an outlet in the car, which my husband's car has that. Mine does, I don't know if mine does. I don't think mine does. Um, so, so yeah, that's how I'm gonna heat up my food. This is my cooler. Um, I'm also gonna throw my avocado in there. Um, and this is gonna go with me through security. We'll see how that goes. I've heard if you explain to them and if you communicate with them, it's okay. And then um, a couple pieces of fruit. This is a pluot, P-L-U-O-T. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm like digging these right now. They're so good. Where we live, they're really awesome. And then a plum. These don't travel well, I found out on an airplane last week. <laughs> but um, I'll probably eat it 
on like pretty soon. So I'm gonna put, I think that's it. And then I'm hoping to get a Ziploc with some salad stuff and put it in here too. So that is my cooler. And then it's, so I'm gonna take this on the airplane. And I mean, it's, it's kind of heavy because I have like that glass snap, like snapware in here. I checked my airline and it said that glass is okay on the plane. So this is what I'm doing through the airport with my AIP food. <laughs> Things I thought I'd never do, but um, hey, like I know how I how I feel my best, and I want to, you know, feel my best. So I'm also packing some other food. So let me let me grab that and I'll show you. So some other stuff I'm packing: paper plates. Even though I think I'll probably just eat like out of this out of the snackware. Um, I'm packing some paper plates, some forks, some knives, some spoons. I'm hoping a plastic knife will do the job for my avocado. <laughs> Don't know if it's going to. Um, I might have to MacGyver that puppy. But anyways, um, this is stuff that you don't necessarily have to pack. You could probably just find it from your hotel. Um, but I just, I just thought I. So I'm gonna put this next stuff I'm showing you in my checked bag. I'm, I'm like checking a bag. Um, some snacks. So these are new, new primal beef thins. They also have um, these are AIP. They also have a beef jerky that has pepper in it. So if you haven't reintroduced um, pepper yet make sure you get the beef thins not the beef jerky these are pretty good and my kids love that too um, I'm actually bringing um, I always bring one or two extra of these these are the wild Zora freeze-dried meals um, this is so they have two flavors that are AIP this is the summit savory chicken and then they also have a beef flavor I have one in my in, in my cabinet I'll grab in fact I'll grab it real fast is the mountain beef stew both of them are good also they have um you can take some like coconut aminos so these are aip coconut aminos little travel packets and you could always like spruce it up a little bit if you want to um so i like to at least bring one extra of these just in case and you can get like a cup of hot water you know anywhere and just you just shake it and add the hot water and wait a few minutes and it's good to go i ate one in an airport last uh, uh well, just a few days ago so um and i like these two these are the wild zora original meat and veggie bars i get all this stuff on amazon you could probably get it on their website too i think it's not again it's it's not as cheap as eating like you know pro you know like fruits veggies meats but um these are like lifesavers for traveling on the aip i think but these are mango and, co and coconut fruit bites i got these in the june simply aip box um, and I've been taking them with me, so they're a little bit well loved. Um, but I haven't tried them yet because I just I prefer like fresh fruit over dried fruit, and I've been able to find fresh fruit. In fact, where I'm going, I know that they always have a farmer's market on Saturday, so I'm planning on picking up some fruit um, on Saturday just so I can have some fruit too. Um, I always bring one of these. I still have not needed to have it, so I don't know if it's good or not. It's the lemon chicken soup. You just add water. Again, Wild Zora, great to just have on hand. This is my collagen peptides for my smoothie. I like the Vital Proteins brand, um, but whatever brand you use. And then I like to bring some tea. And then I pack my supplements too. So um, I don't typically like to share my supplements, what I take, because really it's I think it's an individual thing and you need to work with your, you know, if you have an NTP or a health coach or um, a doctor or whoever, you know, is part of your medical team who can help you with, with the supplements. So I, I don't like to show what, which ones I take, but um, I always pack my supplements too. And then I, I always pack some Paleo Angel Power Balls. Um, I, did, I do have a new favorite flavor. So Vanilla Cupcake was always my favorite now, I really love their care fudge cake. It's really good. So anyway, I'm packing those. Um, and my flight arrives in the early evening on my first day, and so I'm going to pack um, my dinner in a thermos so that it's ready to go when I get settled in at the hotel so that I don't have to like heat something up in my in my mini oven and I don't, I'm, because I'm not sure how long it'll take. So anyways, that is how I'm traveling AIP. Six days, five nights, hotel just a standard hotel room no kitchen 
Um, but I did, like I said, I did ask for a mini fridge and a microwave. I will be back next week and I will put in the, in the notes um, below if like how it went, it, like what I thought of the, a mini oven, how, like how the Nutribullet worked, how, how it was getting through security with all this food um, so that you kind of, well, you kind of know if there were any like, er, shh, don't do that again. Um, hopefully it's smooth sailing and I don't have any horror stories for you. But anyways, um, thank you for watching. Uh, I publish new videos every Thursday. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment if you have traveled AIP or like Whole30 or Walls Protocol or however you like to eat clean. Um, if you've traveled this way, let me know. Or if you have any air, air travel tips, please let me know in the comments below. And then if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I hope you guys have an awesome week.